Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will give you a sneak peek at the soon to be released Bitscap Futures Trading Grid Bot. Now, this particular grid bot is in beta mode, and I do have access to deploy these bots to live fire. And so far, I've deployed a couple on the long side. In today's video, I'll be configuring and deploying a bot to go short on XRP, actually, on the Binance Futures Exchange. Now, before we get into the weeds, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it is an all-in-one trading platform that allows you to connect your exchanges via API keys to the platform. And in this case, I have my Binance Futures API key connected to the platform and therefore my money actually stays on Binance and I don't actually send any money directly to Bitscap. They just send orders on my behalf based on my bot's strategy. And if you're newer to grid bots and you wanted to see how they actually worked before you put your money at risk, they have a demo mode which would allow you to basically paper trade and test it out before you sent your bot in the battle. Now, if you're wondering what type of investment is required to get started, you can actually get started for free as they offer a 14 day free trial. And I will drop a link down in the description below. And if you use that link, you'll get 14 days free of the pro plan. And that's actually the plan that I use. But with that being said, once your 14 days expire, you can actually get started for as little as $19 a month and that would allow you to deploy two of their grid trading bots. Now, if you thought you were gonna deploy more than two grid trading bots, you could certainly step up to the advanced plan and that would get you five active trading bots. I typically have somewhere between five to 10 active trading bots and therefore the pro plan works best for me. All right, that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring and deploying the bot. So once you have joined the Bitscap platform, you will first off want to connect an exchange to the platform. And in this case, you can see I have my Binance and Binance Futures API keys connected. So I'm good to go as far as that's concerned. But for those of you who would be new to the platform, you would just click on add new exchange. You would create API keys on your exchange and paste the API key and secret key in the corresponding spaces and click connect and your exchange would be connected and you want to make sure it says connected and there's not an error message. From there, you just jump over to the bots tab and that will pull up the bot configuration dashboard. And from here, you start to configure the bot. So the first option I have is the strategy. And for the futures bot, there's only one strategy. And as you can see, it's currently in beta mode. The exchange, I obviously need to be using my Binance Futures Exchange, and I can select that by clicking on the exchange and selecting from the list of connected exchanges. And your next decision is what pair do you want to trade? In this case, I'll be trading XRP USDT. But as you can see, if you give it a click, there'll be a long list of all the available pairs that you could actually trade on the exchange. So now I have my pair selected of XRP USDT. Now I have a choice to either go long on this position if I'm bullish or short the position. And actually I'm gonna short the position. I'm bearish on XRP at pretty much any price. I would actually be bearish on XRP. The fact that it's had this recent run up, however, I see an opportunity to engage the target and capture some profit. So the next thing I need to do is give my bot some ammo and they have a little slider bar down here that you can slide over. It will only let me use 20% of my balance. And so I'm only able to use 71 USDT on this particular bot. But I think that's all because this is in beta mode. So it's kind of limiting your risk at the moment. And if I click on the leverage button, then I have a choice to go anywhere from 1x up to 10x currently. And again... A lot of this is in beta mode, so a lot of this could change in the future by the time it goes live to the public. I have selected 5x for this particular bot. I typically run somewhere between 4x up to about 9x. So I'm going to click confirm. And then the next option is what type of margin do you want to actually use? You can use cross or isolated. I generally use isolated. I want my risk limited to this one position. In cross mode, my risk would be spread out over similar assets on my account. 
That is why I choose isolated. A lot of folks say, well, you'll get liquidated sooner. Well, if I'm wrong, I want a small amount of risk, not my entire holdings of that asset. So for my risk management, isolated is the way I typically trade on margin. So I will click confirm. The next step will be to configure my lower and my upper grid levels. And in this case, I want my upper level up here at the highest point that we hit, which was $1.40 just about an hour ago. And normally what I look at is prior resistance and prior support for my upper and lower levels. So prior resistance obviously would be where we got rejected up here. And then so for my lower level, I would come into where I see perhaps prior support. That would be around this 113 range. However, I want to give this bot plenty of room to run. And based on my tactical analysis, there is a probability that this price could actually retreat all the way down to the $1 range. So let's see how low we can actually take this. All right, so it looks like I'd be limited to around the $1.09 range. So let's put that in there. And at that level, if I check my six and look back, I do see previous resistance back here at around that range. And a lot of times, previous resistance becomes future support. So I'm actually okay with this 109 range. And actually, in reality, if this sells off to that level, I'll be stopping the bot and capturing my profit. So now I have my upper and lower price levels set. I move on to my grid step or grid spacing and the number of grids. And the number of grids I'd like to try to get on here will be 40. And that gives me a grid spacing of 0.65%. And I typically shoot for around 0.4% to 0.9%. And there's a little leeway in there as well. But in this case, it's at 0.65%. So I'm actually okay with that. And with my 40 grid levels, which is what I was shooting for. So let's click on back test and see how this performs. Now, I don't actually expect very good performance on the back test. And it's not. It's only about half a percent over three days. And so it's important to understand that back test past performance does not guarantee future results. And so you take it with a grain of salt. I'm looking at this more on a tactical analysis basis of this is run up and it's going to need to pull back and that is what i'm really basing my battle plan for this grid bot and not so much the back test results now the last two optional features that you have are take profit and with the take profit option you could actually set a target for take profit and in this case i'm actually going to deploy this because if it reaches my target level i do want to take profit and get out so i'm actually going to make my take profit level the same as my lower le level and because this bot is set up to short the position i'm looking for it to go down and not up and on the flip side i need to set my stop loss remember a stop loss is extremely important not using a stop loss when trading cryptocurrencies is like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you're going to get killed. And so for my stop loss, I'm going to set that right above the 145 mark. And I'm going to actually set it at 149. And that way, if the price action is able to break through this 140 resistance... More than likely, it will be taking out a lot of stop losses right above that level. So I do want to give it room to run and perhaps get a good rejection off of a new level. And so I'll give the bot some room to maneuver if it's able to break through this 140 level. And that is pretty much it. This bot is ready to deploy. But before we do, we'll just recap real quick. The strategy for the Binance Futures grid bot on Bitscap is their combo bot. And like I said, it's in beta modes. The pair I'll be trading will be XRP USDT. I'm deploying this bot on a short strategy rather than long. The total investment that I can actually go up to is $71 based on my current balance on my Binance Futures account which gives me a maximum position value in XRP of $277 and an overall total investment of approximately $368. I have set my leverage at 5X and my margin type will be isolated. 
My lower level is set at 1.094 and I might actually have to adjust that before I deploy it as there's a red box around the level and that level seems to be rising while I'm configuring this bot. And then my upper level is set at 1.409 USDT. My grid space is 0.65%. So the grid spacing is basically the spaces between lines on the grid itself. So in this case, from this grid to this grid level is a 0.65 grid spacing. And these lines actually represent limit orders. The red lines are sell limit orders and the green lines are buy limit orders. So as the price would drop and hit one of these green grid level lines, it would buy. And as the price would rise and hit one of the red limit order lines, it would sell. And then I do have the take profit enabled and I have it set at 1.094 USDT. So if we can get this price to drop down here, we'll be taking profit again because this bot is going short. And then I have my stop loss set at 1.49 USDT. And the idea there would be to stop the bleeding so we don't bleed out. Now it does look like I need to adjust my lower price limit as I've been jaw jacking for too long. And we'll make that adjustment right now. And everything is set and ready to go. So we'll click start bot. And the bot has been deployed and is now live. And again, we're going short. So the idea is we want that price to drop on XRP. However, with that being said, I'm all right with a little bit of choppy price action of going up and down before we actually get that flush. And that would just allow me to capture more profit. Now, with that being said, I will do an update video in the very near future on this particular bot. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comments section down below. And I will leave a link to Bitscap in the description down below so you can get that 14-day free trial. So in closing, remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.